What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Ronnie Lee Show. We back for season two, baby. You know what I'm saying? We had to take a little hiatus, but we back to give y'all more of this good King Lion Entertainment. Today, I got my special guest, man. We got the OGs, man. Matt Birch and Freud Tazero from Operation Repo. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just to keep y'all a little update, what's going on, man? The uh, reason why we've been gone so long is, uh, you know, I've been out here hustling, man, and my team been hustling. We've been out here grinding and really have to do what we have to do out here, man. Uh, I know everything seems more glamorous out here, but you got to do some real gritty work out here. And uh, I've been out here trying to step my game up. I joined SAG, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did a feature film. I can't really say the name and tell you too much about it right now. But as soon as I can, I'm going to definitely let y'all know. But it's a big feature. Uh, did a commercial and... I'm just out here auditioning, you know what I'm saying, and try to keep my dream alive, you know what I'm saying? And this season, we out here in Hollywood, baby, you know what I'm saying? We got Frontline Entertainment and the CEO, Carlos Lopez Jr., you know what I'm saying, helping us out with this next season. And uh, what you think, man? You know what's going on. May 2nd, you know what I'm saying? The big May 2nd Pacquiao versus Mayweather. You, you going to be out there in Vegas, man? Oh, I'll be there. You going to be there? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my way out there for I think I might be out here working, but I cannot wait for this fight, man. This is going to be the biggest fight of the year, and you already know who I'm going with, Team Mayweather, man. You know what I'm saying? And we need to appreciate this greatness, you know what I'm saying? I know he's cocky. I know he's arrogant, but you got to understand how he got there, and I think we should appreciate this greatness instead of, like, trying to find a reason to hate because... He's living the life we all out here hustling to get for real. And he there. We kind of hating. So, I can't wait. And Pacquiao, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like, if he was fighting anybody else, you know what I'm saying? I'd be rude for him. But you know what I'm saying? This team, baby, you know what I'm saying? He got me in the zone, dog. We out here training. You know what I'm saying? My man Carlos, you know what I'm saying? Got us out here training. We going to the body, dog. I can't wait, man. I'm in boxing zone, dog. I didn't... I fucked around and went and bought Fight Night for the Xbox because I'm so in the zone, dog. When we come back, dog, we're going to talk to the OGs and see what they be going so, on. Y'all stay tuned, man. Check out this video. What's good, everybody? Welcome back. All right, man. Now it's time to go ahead and meet our very, very special guest. You know what I'm saying? Big Matt and Freud, baby. Come on out, brother. Okay, uh, okay, okay, my man. Okay, got the shades on, you got the coat. Okay, he's out here to check. It's America, it's America. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, you know what I'm saying? Look good, you know what I'm saying? Well, good, dog. Nah, you don't seem on shit. How about you? What man, you I'm doing great, man. You know, I'm just trying to keep, keep all the career moving, you know what I'm saying? Keep everything going, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get on y'all level. Well, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm yeah. starting entry level and I'm trying to work my way up to y'all, you know what I, I'm saying? I, I, I got to point out something to the viewers, though. I haven't seen you guys in a while, both Ronnie and Carlos. Uh, I got to say something. I, I, I'm feeling a little weird right now because this dude and I kind of gained a couple of pounds because we've been living a good life and kind of going a whole vacation. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been kind of eating a little bit too much. Ah. Uh, what happened with you guys? You hey, guys like lost all the weight. Hey, we've been on the grind, so like We found the 30 pounds that they lost. Hey, <laughs> oh, I'm going to pour them on that, man. Hey, nah, y'all, like I said, y'all distinguished gentlemen. Y'all can eat now. Y'all, y'all have already made all oh, y'all yeah, accomplishments. Yeah. I, I like how you uh, said yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're distinguished gentlemen. Yeah, seasoned veterans. You, know know I mean, you look fantastic. I don't want to shower with you or anything, but you look fantastic. Hey, now I appreciate that. Man. I had to, you know, had to uh, change my lifestyle, and, and you know, because I've met some of the girls stuff. you've been out with, and they still complain. Hey, you know what I mean? Well, you know, I've been known to be, I've been known to be a swordsman. You know what I'm saying? Rapier. Hey, hey. Hey, nah, but what's what y'all been up to, man? Since the show went over, man, I ain't seen y'all make. Like I said, y'all. Y'all went in, in, into, you know, made y'all little zone. What y'all been up to, man? Well, you know, we've been, we've been keeping busy. You know, we do a lot of work with LAPD, with the kids. Okay. And uh, we, yeah, we've just been keeping busy, basically. We've done a few projects here and there. You know, you know the game. You know yeah. the game. Uh, you know, we're trying to get something else going. The fans are starving for all of us to be back on the air. Yes, yes, you know? yes they have. And, um, we're just waiting for a network to get smart enough to put us back on the air. I feel <laughs> you, know? you, man. I feel it would be nice, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, uh, no, I think I think we can satisfy the fans' hunger pretty quickly here. We're, we got some things coming. As you know, just in this business, we're not allowed to talk about it. Right, yeah, yeah. Because as you know, 
because we've dealt with all the bottom feeding scumbags there are. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, I, you know, it's funny. All of us are really nice guys. Yeah. And uh, I swear, I, I, I don't know about Carlos. He's too quiet. Ah! That's was, Michael Bay now. Bro. Bro, that was a, was, a, was a squirrely old boy when I first met him, but he, but he ended up being all right. <laughs> but no, you know what I mean. We we here's the deal. Uh, because you know we're all nice guys, and we've all been taken advantage of. But it's a learning lesson. You know, we're look, I'm older than all you guys by a few years, yeah. but actually a lot of years. Oh, I dropped the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but we've all learned. And we're, we're moving forward, and what I've learned is you, you, you can't bitch and moan and complain about what happened, what used to be. What you can do is move forward and take advantage of it. And bottom line, as you guys know, Operation Repo bought a bunch of nobodies and lost yeah, us in outer exactly. space. Yeah, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for the experience, man. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, come on, man. You know, that's that's best. Basically, I mean, people capitalize on us. Don't get me wrong. People screwed us over. Oh, okay. that's that we had to learn. Like I said, well, that, we was, that was rookie year for me. Now I feel like oh, I mean, you guys. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We was we was the rookie year dudes. You know, it was rookie contract. They made love to us, but they raped you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I, I, I get what you mean, though. Hey, like I said, I, I, I try to stay positive. Like I said, I look at how you say it's like a, you know, maybe we got put on an international stage, you know what I'm saying? People from other countries know our name. Like I said, we just seen y'all on the boulevard, you know what I'm saying? They know Matt <laughs> Freud. You know what I'm saying? We, Matt and Freud was like 30 people come up there and like, I'm up there like, what's up, y'all? They're like, yeah, what's up, big man? But hey, Matt Freud, you want to say business with him? <laughs> It was, hey, but I appreciate y'all at least putting me in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, like, but basically what I'm saying is that, like, we got put on, and um, it's a stepping stone, you know what I'm saying? It was somewhere to start. And, we, and at least for me, you know, you guys were there over years before we got there. But for me, you know what I mean? It was a start, and it was a stepping stone, and um, I appreciate the experience. I'm just going to use that to keep climbing the ladder, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, it was funny because when we first uh, heard you guys were coming on the air, yeah. Um, it, it was funny. You guys were demonized by the powers that be. Oh yeah. Uh, you were taking our spots, you know. And, and, and it, it's an urgent. Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't want you talking to them. It's an urgent. Now think about this. The first day I show up to work, when you guys were there, what is the first thing that I noticed about Carlos? He's wearing a bandana. Carlos, these fuckers are gonna take my look now. <laughs> I, I was a little better off because it was a big black guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, if they'd have brought my like our manager, our manager uh, Jahad, by the way, he's, like, he's a really cool cat, but he's like he's like a white version of me. Okay, you know, he's big, bald. You know, if they'd have brought a guy like that, then I'd have been a little concerned. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I was concerned. What are you talking about? Hey. <laughs> Nah, you know, he's gonna switch it up, you know, add a little, you know what I'm saying, chocolate in good. there a little bit, sprinkle a little bit in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, you always know I like the black I, person. I, I have to say, so, <laughs> you, you were a little intimidating, because how tall are you? About 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. I'm 5'7". Five, he walks over, he's like, yeah, what's up, <laughs> what's up I'm Ronnie. I'm like, yeah, dude, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, nah, it was cool, and I, one thing I can always remember, y'all was very cool with me, man, coming in, I appreciate that, man, y'all was... Cool with me from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Let me know the OG way, like what's, what it is, you know what I mean? What to do, what not to do. And you know, a lot of people, like especially how y'all said, dude, they was trying to make us replace y'all. But right. like, y'all still treated me good, and I, I appreciate that. I mean, y'all was cool with me if that was the case. It was it was, a, it was really fun working with you, especially, uh, you know, I, I like Carlos, but it was a lot of fun working with you. Because okay. you're a fun, dude, you're a funny son bitch. Okay, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. are a funny you. guy. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Carlos, he, he's a little, um, <laughs> No, 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 he's a little more serious. Yeah, he's yeah, more yeah. Serious guy. I always thought him Metal Gear Solid, yeah, dog. I think, like, he was, I think it's the short man's term, complex man. thing that he's has. You know wait, I mean? wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This dude is... You know I love you. You know I love you. This dude is taller than I am. Everybody was like, is that your little brother? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's my taller, little brother, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah he's about almost six. You know what I mean? He got some size on him, you know what I'm saying? I'll tell wait, you what. Uh, bro, I'm sorry, it's just 5'10". Five, 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 ten. five ten up pubic hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be Max. I got more hair. <laughs> can, I, can I can I retort? Allow me to retort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My butt crack has hair too. So does oh, my boss. Oh my god. I'm not jealous of that either. Hey, hey, nah, yeah, but like a uh... fogging up the lens. Uh, <laughs> you know, no. And speaking of that particular, it is funny how. Uh, Someone like you know I, you know me you see me with with people man I'm the master of 
verbalization. When you come at me and verbal joust with me, you know I'll tear people's asses. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. It's funny. I always think it's funny when, when someone's messing with me and they, oh yeah, we are bald. And I'm like, ooh, can I feel the burn? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know and it's funny. Somebody before you did a before you did a thing where it's got two pictures of me, one with hair, one without. Do you know how absolutely ridiculous I look with hair? Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm so, I, well, I've never I mean, heard it's, you. It's funny. It just looks ridiculous. People ask me, well, dude, if you could have hair back, would you? I'm like, absolutely not. And I'll, and I'll be bluntly honest. I'll be bluntly honest. I have gotten more play from more women since I've shaved my head than I ever got. Oh, yeah. Well, it's pretty boy like, you know who. Oh, yeah. Ah, no, that's, yeah, that's, that no, you don't know. And I'm not be, you know, I'm just, I'm just making a point. I mean, it's, it's funny. Some, the bald thing works for some of us. Again, our manager, Jahan, good looking cat, bald. Oh, With yeah. hair, I think you look like a little swishy. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's a little swishy. A little swishy. Oh, yeah. But what's, what's up with you, though, know, Floyd, man? I remember that you, you was the player pimp on the show, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey look, it, it, I thought I was a player. You know, I was a young player trying to come up, but then I learned, like, we went to Vegas, dog. Okay, yeah. I, I These real players like over here, baby. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, no. I know I'm doing. Wait, 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 Everyone thinks Matt Birch is the player. Everyone thinks Matt Birch is the one that's the womanizer, the gangster, you know, the whole bit, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. And I've never seen anything like it in my life. He can walk up totally cold. And I'm not talking to some fine bitches. I'm not talking, you know, the kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know about. All right, we'll be over there. Talk about it. Hello. Oh, now you give the accent. Hello. <laughs> my name is Frano. I am short. I look like a pirate. I have a short little dick. I have very little money, and I will probably end up doing one of your sisters. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yeah. Are you not? Are no, I, I see you it. not. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you how I was doing, man. Remember when we was doing the we was doing the Vegas episode? You know what I'm saying? We was out there, and we had you know a little bit of downtime, man. We got to really experience some real, you know. Look, is that like what I said, you're saying we got real fucked up? <laughs> Hey, you know, child, you know, I people business out there, but I, yeah, since you put it out there, you know, man, we was out there, we was parlaying, man, we had a good time, man. Uh, the OG showed me how it's done, dog. We couldn't even walk like five, like when men call us go up, come out, you know what I'm saying? People would rain out a little bit, though. But when, when I was out with them, though, you couldn't go like five yards without somebody with more pictures, you know what I'm saying? Well, what I remember about that night were the two five hundred dollar an hour hookers. That oh came my to us. God! <laughs> Hey, 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 let me tell you something. Absolutely nothing, nothing and to do with that. Hey, yeah, hey. And I got very upset because I was negotiating them down pretty good when you guys were dragging me away. I was like, my mama only allows me to spend four hundred dollars an hour on prostitutes. Hey, so, hey, get yeah, how you live, dog. I was getting up the bike and I'm like, for the let's go. Hey, yeah. I never hate on how I do. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Get in, dog. Get it how you live. You know what I'm saying? But I, I will tell you, Ronnie, <laughs> Ronnie, when he has a big drink so yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, now everyone should hang out with a six foot five, two hundred seventy pound black guy when they go out. Uh, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? We be having a good time, dude. We have a good time, and everybody better let us have a good time. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, so, uh, so, what y'all think about this uh, May second, man? This Mayweather fight, man. Like that's it's a big deal, man. I've been asking everybody, every guest, I'm gonna ask about it. Okay. Who y'all going for, man? Y'all already know who I'm going for. Well, here's the deal. We got the new, new. We got the new Muhammad Ali. Exactly. That's hey, look. That's what I was just saying. You know, what I'm saying the and, intro. And that's what it is. Here's the deal. Do I really? You know, my, my thing about him is I'm always the underdog kind of guy, though. Yeah. You know, for you know, we're all underdogs. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we we are not the Mayweathers of life. We right. are the Pacquiao's of life. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, no, I mean, okay. really, we're the Pacquiao's. So, on that level, Mayweather, <laughs> I think you're great. I really do. But I really hope Pacquiao just fucking knocks you on your ass. So I do. See, 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 I, have to, I have to disagree with that because I am a Pacquiao fa uh, fan. Me but too. I do believe 
Mayweather's going to, to dude. No other, nobody can hit Mayweather. I didn't say that May, happen. If, if you ever look at the stats of, of Mayweather, he hardly ever gets punched. I didn't say. I didn't so, say it's going to happen. I just said I would hope that at least one time Pacquiao gets a good hit, puts you down. He's, he's going to get a few. Just what I hope. No, no, right. Right. It's going to be a Mayweather fight, bro. And and and, and it's really about that. Out, yeah. About that, a lot of people hating on him because here's the honest truth. Like myself, I'm Mexican. I came here. I came here to have a better life. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mayweather's doing what all my people are trying. Everybody's to Everybody's trying to live do. a life because yeah. I guarantee you, dude. All those people that are talking all that smack about, oh, he likes to show off. He's got his cars and bags of money. If you had it, if I had it, we will be doing exactly <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. We had a taste of it. We had a taste of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember we go to more drinks, more food. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really. <laughs> Thing and, and that's why we're here. Yeah. We're here to do something, make something. You know, uh, we you know we, we enjoy entertaining. Uh, we enjoy the money. We enjoy the time. I mean, it, some people can be TV personalities or, or personas in general, yeah. and other people can't. Right. But I'm going to tell you, Mayweather. That's a, that's, that's the man. Yeah, that's the man. No, that, like, man. And I kind of think of it the same way when people used to hate on LeBron. Man, I just think it was like. I mean, you get. We all have our own opinion, but this is greatness. Like you got to have an appreciation yeah. for greatness. Like, oh yeah. Somebody with this kind of discipline, <clears throat> this kind of willpower. Like just those two things. You know what I mean? Like, because that's not the things that show up. That's not the glamorous things. Ah, that's that See, stuff I like look up to. Like somebody with that kind of discipline and willpower to always stay on point each and every single yeah. day. Every hour of the day, you got to have some kind of appreciation for that. Yeah. Absolutely. See, people like. Pacquiao because Pacquiao goes back to the Philippines, which he does. He gives a lot of money away. He he gives so Mayweather, Mayweather do the same thing. Right. Right. He takes care of his people. Yes. Yes. Mayweather takes care of his people. Everyone that, that works for Mayweather, dude, they got back oh, and they, yeah. they get him paid. Yeah. And that's why they still work for the man. That's why they're faithful to him. But it, it's is that attitude that hey, I have everything and I'm gonna have fun that people don't like. But again, the bottom line is everybody that has it. Right. Hey, sure. what well, you can never judge it, like, cause I learned to never say never anymore. Because until you put into them kind of situations, if you haven't been there before, you don't know how you gonna react. We still human. We ain't robots. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how you Bro, gonna react. Get anyone that's talking all that smack. Let's say that guy makes three hundred thousand dollars a year. Give him two million dollars in one year. See what he does with that money. Yeah, see the, yeah. Tell him he's gonna go buy a car, <laughs> buy his mama a house, yeah, himself a house, yeah. get a couple of honeys. See that change in the personality, though. Yeah. You know that's that's what. Does. Now, but speaking of that, I don't think we didn't really change as we got famous, did we? I mean, did we really? No, I don't you think know, so. People always ask about that. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. you know, it's like it's a, some yeah. people can handle this, some people can't. But 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 getting back to, to Mayweather, it's like I, back in my day, I remember this guy comes up and he's talking about Muhammad Ali, and I asked him, "Dude, have you ever laced up a pair of gloves in your entire life?" Yeah. Well, no. What gives you the right to talk about the champion yeah, of the world, yeah, by the right? Way. Yeah. A man that can get on TV and say, "I will knock him out in round three. And, and do it. And do it. <laughs> and do it. And do it. Yeah. Do you know? I mean, <laughs> hey. the training alone would kill most people. And I'm that's like, what I'm saying. Like, the training that stuff. Yeah. alone would kill most people. Yeah. You know? Right. Not to mention getting in the ring. Yeah. So my my thing is, before you talk crap about anyone, yeah. Take a second. And she would see if you could live 10 seconds in their shoes. Yeah, you're you exactly know? right, man. Hey, but here's the thing, though. Uh, so earlier, you know what I mean, on my Facebook page, I, I put out a little thing, man. I, I told them we have a Q&A with the oh. big man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, we're going to have some Facebook questions coming up. Bring them on. A short video, man. Bring them on. Y'all stay tuned. So the other swami is what, like two, two blocks from here? I don't know. It sounds like, uh, it feels like we're being run on a wild goose chase. All right, man, welcome back, y'all. So earlier, man, you know what I mean? I posted on my Facebook page. I don't know if y'all like it. I hope y'all all go out and like it, you know what I'm saying? Ronnie Lee, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I posted on my Facebook page that I'm going to be having Matt Freud, and I was going to have a Q&A, and I wanted to hear from you guys directly. So to let y'all know that I wasn't even bullshitting y'all. I got my phone right here. I'm <laughs> logged into the Facebook page manager. And, you know, we're going to give a shout-out to all our fans, you know, Matt and Ben Coy, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to start with, uh, let's see, uh, Heather Rosales from Ohio. 
She said she now lives in Mexico now. She sounds hot. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm a Latina. You know what I'm saying? She said, so what are you guys doing now? And is Operation Repo really over? She okay, yeah, like I said, she not she not living in this country, she probably think it's still Operation born. Repo will never be over. It will be born forever, man. Hell yeah. And forever. Hell yeah, it's yeah. iconic. It's LA. It's ah, LA. syndication. <laughs> no. But and look, to speak to what you say, yeah, it's a syndication, so somebody making that money. Except for the damn money. You know, except for the people that jumped out of the damn plane and you know, here's the point. And, and was look, jumping in the damn Pacific Ocean to get a yacht and shit. Yeah. It always works out that the people that actually have the talent that actually make something happen <laughs> don't ever get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get, <laughs> They're always be some bags where you school money and That's how everybody <laughs> trying to go behind the scenes and be like our man uh fucking uh James Cameron over here, you know what I'm saying, and try to get behind the scenes that they get paid first. They the ones that always get paid. Act, look, every, that's what I'm saying. Everybody think you live some so glamorous life. They only know actors get paid last on the scale. They get paid you know last. I mean? even, even the biggest of the big. Yeah. So you think about what the biggest of the big make. Yeah. Can you imagine what the other side Hell makes? Yeah. They yeah. made $20 million. Dollars. Yeah. Some actor made $20 million. Now that's what they paid the actor. And we all know that the actors, even the best of the best, get screwed. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 can you imagine yeah. what the other half makes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, we're getting on, um, you know, we, we have some projects coming. Yeah. You know, we're, I'm, um, I'm actually, I read for a, a Latin sitcom. Okay. You're gonna laugh when you okay. see what comes out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're gonna be watching Matt going, you're so too papa. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me put it to you this way. I read for a part, and it's a one-time part on a, okay. <laughs> on a Latin sitcom. Plus, uh, the same people will be producing a movie, and I'm going to be working on that. Okay. So I got four days. Four days worth of work, so okay, I, I can pay my rent. Yeah, <laughs> <time, laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're just doing the best we can right now while we get while other projects are coming into play. That's what's up, man. Yeah, but to answer Heather's question, um, I'm pretty sure Repo will never be dead. Or even stop filming and um, working on because we have fans like you that always watching whatever yeah, we do. Absolutely, we really, man. We really appreciate Big shout out fans. to the fans, God, baby. Right. God bless you guys. Honestly, God bless you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. You guys made it special. All right, so let's go to another one, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I don't. I, I, I'm sorry. Hey, I appreciate everybody from the Latin countries. You know what I mean? But you know which yeah, I don't. I can't read it. I got. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's. <laughs> Boy, you got that, Joy. So, what's okay? That first one right here. I'm sure it's DeFroy, by the way. Ah, probably. No, but and no, actually, I get, I get hit up a lot. Gigante. Actually, that is not Spanish. It's Portuguese. Okay. From Brazil, and she's asking. That's Mar is Marcelo Herbert is asking. Um, saying he's hello. He's from Brazil. He's asking, do we have any future projects? Yes, we do. Okay, Yo, so same question. Same question. Answer in Spanish. I uh, they don't speak Spanish. It's Portuguese. Oh. I don't know how to speak. If we could speak uh, Portuguese, we would. Yeah, and, and like I said, man, I really appreciate. I'll, I'll put the captions in. Okay, okay. Oh, see, that's wait, what I told you. Film school, wait, wait. dog. I, I told I you, idea. film school got, got it down pat. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna wait. do? Very Spanish. Hey, because that's that's how I do it. Like when uh, uh, all you guys that really hit me up, like on social media, that's from other countries. Trust me, I do read it. What I do is I have an app. And I have a translator app, you know what I'm saying? So I go in and I read it, and that's why I reply to you in your language, you know what I mean? So please continue. Oh, also, big shout out to Operation Repo. How is it? Operation Rescante? Mm, Operation that... Repo? Operation Repo. How do I pronounce it? But yeah, they got a fan page. Operation Rescante. Operation. 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 Rescate. Rescate. Yeah. Oh. Hey, listen, we, hey, I be seeing y'all, man. Big shout out to y'all. They got an Operation Repo fan page in Venezuela. They got like 10,000. Yeah, Latin America. Latin Thank y'all, man. Appreciate. I do read y'all comments and I appreciate them. Absolutely. Latin America. We are gods. Hey, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me reply to this dude real quick. <coughs> something you can understand. Shh. Quite a sec. Okay. That means yes, soon will we have a new project. <laughs> hey, technology, man. See, that's what happens when you got, the big, you got the big man iPhone, you the big gold joint. Came from Puerto Rico, I came from Tijuana, did not have a working toilet. We can work that yeah, thing yeah. anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah. He did not speak English when he came to this country, but this man is hey. the American dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there we go, all my Latin people, man. Thank you. Like, good that we got Freud to, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get us right, man. 
So we're going to go to another one. Let me see. Thank you, Froy. I appreciate it. So we'll have Froy speak in Spanish after you answer the question. No, I'm just saying. We got an interpreter. All right, so we got a guy from Canada. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Justin Nicholas Bieber. From, Great yeah. White North. Ah, Nicholas yeah. from Canada said, what is your both best and worst moment on Operation Repo? And hey, before you answer that, he also said, my favorite is when Frankie got fired, and my least favorite is when Freud got beat up by those bikers. Thank you. Yeah, he's he, he, stick up for he you, answered you know? my question already, because that, that was my <coughs> first time. It, it's me getting beat up by those bikers, but I learned, listen, never go alone again. And if you're on number, keep your damn mouth shut. Hell yeah, dog. And uh, that, was before, that was before me, but I think I seen that joint on YouTube, and he did stare the shit out you. That it was fucked up. Yep. You know what I'm saying, dog? It was unpleasant. Oh. Yeah. But, but where was my buddy at that time? Getting late. Oh, you laid out in the trap. I wasn't with him on that one. I wasn't, Damn. I wasn't with him on that one. But ask the question again. Let me say, ask it again. What was the what was the? What was your? Let's see. Least favorite. Nicholas what? Serenco. Serenso. I think his last name is. He said, "What is your best and worst moment on the show?" Uh, the best moment. Tell you the truth, was every moment after we got on the air. I, I enjoyed every day of it. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. worst moment was when I trusted certain people to take care of us, and it didn't uh, happen. Hey, that's the game. Yeah, that's that's the, the, the right underworld there. of the game. That's the it. real, the reality, not the, the glamorous is, part of the game. I, I, I trusted certain people that worked with us on the show to take care of us. They absolutely did not. In fact, they did everything they could to to take you know to down us. Yeah. But I just the same. The show was magical to me. It. it it was great. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Um, we enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Real. Oh, we live. We just got the little. We downtown Hollywood. Hey, hey, yeah. Are you sure we're in Hollywood? Yeah. <laughs> ghetto bird. I'm like, yeah, ghetto bird. Hey. I'm just saying, for those of you who don't know, that is a like ghetto bird. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nah, but that's that. We right here on the boulevard. It's at Frontline Entertainment Studios. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So, hope that answered your question, Nicholas. Right, let's go. Let's see. We got Rebecca from Amarillo, Texas. She said, what are you guys... Texas. Yeah, the great stage. He said, what are you guys plans now that Operation Repo is over? Well, we're going to drop 30 pounds apiece. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we got some stuff coming. But like yeah, I said, I know it's the same kind of question. But no, you know, no, no. But here's the deal. We're, you know, here's the deal. We, we, got, we got things coming. Troy and I are getting back to the gym. Okay. We're, getting, you know, we're getting back to old, you know, getting old school. Okay. You know, we're getting back to old school ways. You know, we've been living, living, living pretty for a while. Yeah. You know, of course, the money's run out now. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get to work. <laughs> money, well, hasn't run out, but it's running out. Okay. I Time to get back. We've been living big, and it's obvious. We've been living big. Yeah, I was in, but y'all opposed to. Y'all accomplished well, a lot. You know, you know what I mean? Enjoy your life. Put it this way. I mean, before you guys came into the show, we've done eight years of this show yeah. almost every day. You know, so, and, and, and we started doing Spanish at first. Yeah. Spanish was every single day. Eight repos a day. Damn. We did so eight long days. repos a day. That was like back in the day. So we've been doing this for a long time. So once the show was done, you know, we took a little break. You know what? Went and a couple of vacations, ate a little too much, and and uh, I will tell you straight up, I, I'm in my fifties now. Yeah. I'm not a kid anymore. For every for Hold on, 15, the, the, the camera died. Say that again. Okay, which one? Uh, <laughs> you're in your fifties again. <laughs> You know, hey. just, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna bring him. It's a lousy look. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring him to stand up comedy because y'all know how funny this man was. Uh, no, you know, I'm in my I'm in my fifties now, and, and I literally I'm 15 years older than Freud, yeah. and I'm 20 years older than you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, the thing is, dude, I've been in shape all my life, but I mean, I did take. I'm gonna tell you, I took a break. Yeah. But you watch, I'll be prettier than both of you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, I'll be pretty. You're still the prettiest. Yeah. What is it? Prettiest, prettiest, movie? sexiest repo man. In uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta put your glasses down and say it. Though. So you gotta, you gotta say it with the glasses down, man. They go back. <laughs> that was the prettiest repo man. I give it one more time. Give him, uh, <laughs> but yes, I am known as the prettiest, sexiest I repo say man. Shut the fuck up! You're talking about. <laughs> I'm yeah, one of the prettiest, right, sexiest repo men in the San Fernando Valley. Actually, if you look at me and my little counterpart here, remember that show, Quick Draw McGraw? Well, I'm Quick Draw, and this is Bob Louie. <laughs> and am I the Moro? Because I'm Mexican? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Quick Draw because I'm Quick Temper. Oh, yeah. But, but, there's, there's so the fact a, that he was but, a big, tall, white, but take, of course, has nothing to do with it. Oh, he, he was white, was he? Big yes. Like but, 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 but keep in mind, on the show, Baba Louie was the smart one. 
Okay, good sir. But it literally works like that. The show was about Quick Draw McGraw. But it, you were the smart one. Uh, <laughs> but that's English too, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, and also before we leave, man, also we got to give a big shout out to the CEO of Frontline Entertainment, man, Carlos. Carlos. Lopez Jr. Carlos, we love you, baby. up with the studio <laughs> today. Look at him. Yeah, baby. AKA uh, my little bro. AKA. Uh, the taller one though. AKA voice uh, replacement. Oh, oh, oh shit. I just hey. like to say they were just telling me, hey, put your bandana on, dude. I was just like, alright, Pop. <laughs> hey, I know what happened. You were watching my videos and you're like, you know what? That looks cool. I'm, I'm gonna start wearing a bandana. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, yeah, you, you, you should you should have you should have actually seen all the, the behind the scenes jabs they used to tell me, hey, say something that would insult Matt on the and you're not even on the repo. And then, you know, <laughs> oh I know, I know. You know, you know, they're on remember when it was like they're like what what could you say that would like Matt would piss me off my if I start calling the guy. Guys, sweetness. Times, yeah, you know how many yeah. times the producers would come to me and say, say something, not, not I mean, anybody, say something that'll piss Ronnie off, say something that'll piss, piss Linda off. Yeah. Uh, and not that I even mind pissing Linda off. Ah, <laughs> that's the business. Yeah, it's the business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, I remember when you and I were doing a repo, and then they told you, make sure that Freud doesn't drive the car away. And then they mm. told me the same thing about you, don't let Carlos drive the car away. We're supposed to be like, I'm driving, no, I'm driving, dog. Get the fuck out of here, I'm driving. Oh, that was, that was Mr. Aguilar's influence. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit more, it was like, no matter how mad you, uh, mad you make mad, just keep pissing him off. I'm just like, all right, I keep talking <laughs> shit. Yeah. All right, man, hey, so look, man, that's our show, man. We want to thank our special guest, Matt Birch, Freud Tessero, for coming out. You know what I'm saying? And y'all stay tuned. Make sure to follow us, not so follow us, but make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. King Lion Entertainment, man. See y'all next time. Woo!